<clears throat> Hello, people. I'm Paul. And I'm Megan with Dreaming Out Loud RV. So, we hope you guys have good plans for your 2020. Our 2020 might include a new fifth wheel. So, this video shows a fifth wheel that we looked at. Did we buy it? Maybe so. Check it out and see what you think. At the end of the video, we'll let you know if we brought this puppy home. It's a nice looking unit. Okay, so this Montana, beautiful coach here. So far today, this one stands out. 3855BR. It's got the awning on the slide. That sun might not be in my favor. Um, big awning here, yeah. Frameless windows. Yeah, open that up. Storage. That's a lot. That is a lot and of storage. Big old storage. Wow. That's huge. Pass through. And. Oh man, it's nice outdoor kitchen. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's got a little cube fridge sink there, I think. Maybe you pull it out, I got the door. A grill. Oh yeah, wow, look at that. Wow. A grill? I would say this would be a sink. Yeah. It's a little nice. Sink. Does that pull out? No. No. Huh. Nah. I like the little medicine cabinet. Yeah. Dual 30s. Oh, this generator prepped. Yep. Plenty of room to put generator in there and some batteries. It's got the road armor pin. Yeah, this is another thing I like. I don't know what you guys think, but you got your outdoor auto level, but it's in its own little locked area. So many of them, you got to open up your storage compartment to get to it, which I just think that's kind of cheesy. I like this because then you can just get to this and I have to open everything up for everybody to see all your stuff. Or if it's bad weather, you know, you're not, rain's not getting in there. But this is all in its own little locked area. It's pretty you neat. Your internal, everything inside with the oh yeah, your dock station. That's really nice, I like that. Battery disconnect. Shower, city water, tank flush, winterize, bypass. It's got the six jacks, right? So that makes it more stable. Yeah, six point leveling system, hydraulic too. I'm assuming that's a 10 gallon water heater. I'm well, not it's sure. Got the slide toppers already? Yeah, it's already got. That's a Schwintech slide system on that one. Which most of the bedrooms do. Well, this one's got the Schwintech as well, which is good. I like that. Bigger slide back here is probably no back here, which is good. Like that. That's a really nice coach. Cargo is thirty-two eighty, and then big slide on this side. This is a Montana. 3855BR. It's got the road armor suspension. Very nice. It's nice. So you come in, coat rack that's enclosed, which makes sense. And you got your command center with all the fancy buttons. And you turn into the camper, kitchen. Nice big fridge. I don't know if it's residential or not, is it? I think it is, yeah. Yep. Nice big fridge. Wow. That's a lot of room right there. Heck yeah. I like wine rack. Yep. Got the convection. Convection. This is a big deep wine rack. Big deep. 
Little cubbies on the side. Don't trip over. Look, I want to show you. Look, the trash can. Oh yeah. Out. And look at this big paint. And look here, I got the power pods. Yep, you got one over here by the kitchen table too. There we go. Pull it all up till it clicks. Yeah. Now look at the pantry. Nice That's oven. It. More storage beside it. And you got your island. All the storage underneath here. We don't have enough stuff to put in this camper. Well, that's nice. Probably motion activated yeah, when the power's like hooked up. Covered. Nice. Then you got your rear living. Got the theater seating there. Oh, and the look, couch you got a here. USB coverage. You got big TV windows. Massage. Storage. More storage. Oh, look, look this moves. It's a big old television. I was thinking Patrick wouldn't be able to sit in between us, but it comes out. Yeah. Got the nice big fireplace. Our other fifth wheel had a fireplace, and we actually used it. It was very, very good when you're not paying for electric. Fire that puppy up. Let the man pay for it. <laughs> now you got the mid bunk. So barn doors are kind of neat. Get storage above it. The nice thing about this is with Megan's remote work, she has her own little office right here. She could sit right here in her own little room, be quiet, and if she gets called in the middle of the night, she won't bother me while I'm getting my beauty sleep. I like those are barn door style. Yeah. Too. Those are Plenty cute. of storage in here. Drawers that she could put her files in. Yeah, I like it a lot. Nice big island. Like Ceiling fan. Door nice door. windows. Oh, yeah. These are elegant looking chairs. Oh, they're hooked together. But they're, they got a lot of padding. They're nice. I like the power pods. So much makes sense about this one. Really the way things are put together. You got your little kick vacuum dustpan. I like that. It's a man's way. You just sweep it over there and let it suck up. <laughs> we could put totes up here. Plenty of storage. Put seasonal clothing or whatever. And this, I like this. It's not a swing out door. It's the next best thing to a pocket door. I prefer the pocket doors. I don't know why these campers don't do that, but that's the next best thing. The bathroom is a little small. Big enough, but a little small. So when I shut the door, still got room to turn around. Shower's plenty big. So it's a little smaller in here. Deep cabinets. But very doable. And I think I don't know if that's a that's a Max fan. But it's got the rain sensor on it, which is nice. This is a well put together coach. And then the bedroom, plenty of room up here. You can walk around the bed. We love that. It looks like a king. Bigger than we need, but as long as we can walk on each side, that's just important to us. No cabinets over the bed. Those just, we've never liked those. Not very practical. Got a TV back here. Nice dresser. Washer dryer hookup, which we definitely want that for full time. I know a lot of people probably laugh thinking we won't need it, but I guess we'll figure that out. Storage on top of it. A nice big closet up here for hanging your clothes. And the finish is really nice. I mean, it's, this is really hardwood. It's nice. Got the laundry hamper. 
I guess I have to pick my stuff up off the floor now. I have no excuse. Barn door here. This is really cool. Really closes closes the bedroom off nice. It's not level, so it's gonna huh, no it's staying. This camper's just here on the lot. So I'm standing in front of the closet. There you go. Nice. Everything is put together really well. And this hallway gives you like a residential feel. Nice big window. Yeah, I like the, the hardwood treatments. Yeah, Makes it feel solid. It nice big, it's not the one big open sink, but it's... And it's got the black, big. no, it doesn't, does it? Oh, those are blackout shades, I guess. And then there is. It's really yeah. nice. It's got the sprayer, I like that. Yeah. And even though I usually like the one big open, this is a big, deep sink. Yep. That's nice. Under this one cabinet, it has a nice little slot where you can put those covers that are normally on there. Oh, really? It's got outlets out here, too. That's the one thing we found with campers. They don't have enough outlets. I know. This one seems but to do this that. One, I mean, seems that like is. now they're putting more in them. See where you can you can tuck the, the sink toppers oh, up wow. there? That makes a lot of sense. Because right now we just kind of set them over somewhere else. I mean, there's... Looking for a price. So let's see. Could I get comfortable here? Just wonder if I can get used to sitting here. Well, you know, it was full time and with the, the island right there. I guess it just depends. I mean, we're not always, we're not in the camper a whole lot anyway, but right. when we are, I want it to be comfortable. It is bright. It's nice that way. Okay, so what'd you guys think? Did we like it? We liked it. We liked, liked it a lot. It. Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> <laughs> yep, we didn't buy it. Mm -mm. Not that we didn't like it, mm -hmm. but it just didn't have a few things that we've got to have. It's not going to ever be perfect, but there's some things that we just can't do without. Um, and storage is one of them. We feel like it didn't have enough storage uh, for the basement area of the, the RV. It's, it's hard to decide so what, hard. <clears throat> what we need, what we think we're going to have. But we told you we're going big. That was a big rig. It was like 13,000 some odd pounds dry. So we're going big. So we're just going to keep <clears throat> looking. You yeah. know, it's one of those things I think we'll just know in our gut when it's the right one. I hope, anyway. But we have kind of a checklist of what we have to have and a checklist that we'd like to have. And we're trying to get as close to that as we can. Um, but I just feel like we'll walk into the right one and be like, oh, this is it. Yep. I think we've already done that. We just got to make sure that that's the one we want. So yeah. we've got time. And our travel trailer's still for sale. And this New Year's weekend, we have a gentleman coming to look at it that sounds kind of serious, but so cross your fingers. money talks, so we'll see. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have a happy New Year and enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate all your support. Please leave a comment. We appreciate all your support, and Pebby's definitely does. Fabby does. Mm. <laughs> She's ready to travel. Say mm. And also, uh, we have a cat that we've been trying to harness. I've got the harness. Well, we got a video that shows me trying to get a harness on this cat. <laughs> so that will be interesting yeah. to see if I'm bleeding or not. We'll talk to y'all next video. Peace out. <laughs>